finally. Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ronquillo. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. Do you sometimes find that on some guitars, your chords sound out of tune, even though according to your tuner, you're perfectly in tune? I've noticed many guitars with this problem, usually beginners, but also those who've been playing for a long time. And I'm here to tell you that it's not the guitar, it's you. Well, it's kind of the guitar and kind of you. Let me explain. Before we get started, if you're into these kinds of videos, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay in the loop. The frets on a guitar come in different sizes. You can have medium, jumbo, tall, really low like the early Les Paul Customs that were called fretless wonders. They were great for playing chords but they sucked ass for bending. And the taller the fret, the more space there is between the bottom of the string and the fretboard. Thus, the potential to actually bend the string out of tune if you apply more pressure than is needed. So for instance, uh, I have in my hands my 1977 Fender Strat. I just got it um, refretted with taller frets. Before it had really, really low frets. Yeah, I couldn't bend and it was really uncomfortable. So I had medium jumbo frets put on, um, pretty standard for strats. And I noticed when I would play certain chords, uh, some of them were kind of sounding out of tune. Uh, let's take, for instance, this open E chord. Now that doesn't sound too bad, but when I first got these frets and I was gripping naturally, and I would hit this chord and it would sound way out of tune and I was like, oh man. And I knew exactly what it was. I had to adjust my finger pressure because of the taller frets. My finger pressure was actually bending some of these notes. So I had to adjust my fingers to make sure all the individual notes were in tune. So for instance, if I were to play uh, the low G on the sixth string and I'll add a little more pressure to it, you can hear, you can actually hear it going out of tune. And I'm not bending it, I'm just putting more pressure on it. So if you tend to have like a really firm grip when you're playing chords, you might want to try to lessen it up a little bit if your chords are sounding out of tune. Uh, some things to note, scallop fretboards like the ones that Ingve and Rishi Blackmore use take a lot more control to play in tune and require being conscious of the finger pressure because there is a ton of space underneath the string. Also, the action can affect your effort to fret the strings. Since a higher action causes more tension on the string, it can cause you to have to apply a little more pressure, sometimes making you overexert and accidentally bending it out of tune. So a common exercise is to slowly apply pressure down until it goes from a buzzing note to a clear note. And that is the optimal pressure that your fingers need to be. And it's just a matter of getting used to that feeling. See, that's too much. And if you want to take it a step further and get real anal about it, you could use a tuner. It'll help you visually see if you're still in tune. Once you get a feel for the uh, individual notes, practice fretting your chords, whether they're open or bar chords. Now this may take getting used to if you're a beginner. You're gonna have to use your ears to figure out which strings are sounding out of tune. And then adjust your finger pressure accordingly. So this could get a little bit difficult with bar chords because you might have to adjust the pressure in the different parts of your first finger, which is your barring finger. It seems to me that a lot of it happens on the lower string, the thicker strings. It's really just all about fretting intuitively and kind of hearing the sound of the individual notes and then adjusting your finger pressure accordingly. So while I was editing, I forgot to mention, if you're primarily an acoustic player and you move to electric, 
uh, or maybe you're playing electric for the very first time, you might run into this issue because of two reasons. So your fretting hand on an acoustic usually has to be a little bit firmer. You know, the strings are usually heavier and a lot of times the action is higher. The frets on an acoustic are usually smaller, so you don't really notice the strings uh, bending out of tune that much if you fret really hard. So one of my big tips for you guys is don't expect to play an electric the same way you play an acoustic. You have to modify your technique a little bit, especially in the left hand. So when you pick up a guitar, just glance down at the frets to see how high they are. Feel the strings down on the fretboard and on the frets so you can kind of gauge what you're working with. Test out different levels of finger pressure to see if the notes are going out of tune. And it could vary from guitar to guitar. That's why it's important to be able to modify your technique to adapt to different guitars and any gear for that matter. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments. Share it with your friends, family, mailman. If you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos, tutorials, tour vlogs, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Well, these fucking bastards are just a fucking let me die tonight!